like this every night, Jean. You fiddle-faddle your time away. It's a wonder to me you ever get anything done. Always putting things off until the last minute. Oh, I do get things done, though, don't I? Just by the skin of your teeth and with all of us helping. Now get to work. I'll expect to see all this homework finished by 9.30. All right, Mom. Hi, Jean. Hi, Marge. Finish all your homework? No, not quite. I'll finish it during first hour history class. Miss Jones will just think I'm taking notes. But, Jean, there were only ten words to be fine. I finished mine in practice. Say, Marge, didn't Mr. Brown say he'd post the list of new class officers this morning? I think so. We voted yesterday morning, so they should be ready by today. Gee, I wish I knew who was elected. Wish that bus would hurry. Golly, Marge, I'm sorry you didn't get elected. Oh, that's all right. Jean will make a good social chairman. She's got lots of good ideas. Yeah, but she never sees things through. She was chairman of the class assembly last year, and it was one of the best we ever had. Sure, I remember. We did everything at the last minute. Just the same, it was good. That was just luck. Besides, we're all so mad we did everything we could think of to make it good. Marge, didn't any of you girls ever tell Jean about promising so much and then waiting until the last minute to get started? Oh, yes. We told her. She said it was a good idea and then went right on doing like she always does. What a girl. Here are the plans for the decorations. So They're real simple and we'll only need the gym the night before the party. In fact, if we start to decorate at 6.30 sharp, we'll be all through by 8.30. What's that? Yeah. 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 See, you heard me see it, Jean. See? She's really on the ball this time. You just wait. We still have a whole month to go. I have a list of all the crepe paper and stuff we need. I'll bring them the night we decorate. Uh-oh, here it comes. Look, Jean, this decoration stuff is simple enough, but there's more to it than just talking about it. Maybe you ought to appoint some committees to help. Yeah, that's right. What about reserving the gym? Talk about refreshments. We'll need to eat. Yeah, well, we do get it. Water, kids. Water. Water. Jim, you're in charge of getting wire for decorations, okay? Okay. Marge, will you appoint a committee and make the invitations and programs for the dance? And Frank, you'll be business manager and sell the tickets. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Decorations. I'd like to shop for the crepe paper myself. I know just the colors I want. And in the morning, I'll see Mr. Brown about the gym. 
And tonight I'll make a list of the refreshments the committee is to arrange for. But, Jean... That's still too much for you to do by yourself. Why don't you appoint some more people to help you? Oh, don't worry, Marge. There's no hurry. I'll get it done. I move we adjourn to the drugstore. Come on, here. Yeah. 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 I'll see you later. Okay. Mr. Brown, I was just coming to see you. And I was just coming to see you, Jean. I wanted to see you about getting the gym for Friday night and Saturday, the day of our party. Well, Jean, you should have seen me about that some time ago. You mean we can't have it? Well, fortunately for you, Jim saw me about it a few days ago, so I did reserve the gym for the class. But as chairman of that committee, Jean, you should have seen me about that reservation at least a month ago. I'm sorry, Mr. Brown. But, gee, with all the tests and everything, I just didn't have time to. Well, I hope you aren't putting off many more of your responsibilities, because you haven't much time left. Oh, yes, sir. I know that. I'm going downtown right after school tonight and get the decorations and... Jean, did you ever try making a list like this of the things you have to do and the time you have to do them in, and then try sticking with the list? Oh, sure, Mr. Brown. That's a good idea. Well, thanks for reserving the gym for us. I've got to go now. Bye. Goodbye. Hi, Alice. Say, I've got the grandiest new record I want you to hear. Come on over after school and we'll play it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hill, but I just don't know what Jean has done about refreshments for the party. You know, Mrs. Nelson, I work during the day, and I would like to know what Martha is to bring so that I can prepare it the evening before and get it out of the way. I understand, Mrs. Hill, and I'll talk to Jean and have her get in touch with you this evening. Thanks for calling. Jean, come here a moment, please. Later, Mom. I'm supposed to meet the kids in a few minutes. Jean. But, Mom. Jean. All right, I'm coming. What do you want, Mom? Jean, Mrs. Hill just called, and she said that you told Martha that she was to bring part of the refreshments for the party. Well, sure. All of the kids are supposed to bring something. But what are they to bring? They don't know. Well, golly, this is only Thursday, Mom, and the party isn't until Saturday. Jean, you be sure and call Mrs. Hill today and let her know what Martha is to bring to the party. Okay. Oh, and Mom, for it's for Miss Simmons, and it's the last day. I can't go until tomorrow, Jean. I'm having book club here this afternoon, but if it's just odds and ends, Jean Nelson, this is terrible. You couldn't possibly get all these things in one afternoon. But Jean, Mom, we've got to decorate tomorrow night. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to see if I can go myself tonight before the stores close or tomorrow before we decorate. Jean, I just can't understand you. Why do you always put off everything till the last minute? Well, I couldn't help it, Mom. There are just so many things to do and... Oh, there's Marge. Bye now. Don't worry. I'll get everything done. I'll take care of everything, Jean said. At the time, she really meant it. But when she tried to call Martha's mother about the cookies, the line was busy. And when she tried to get to town that afternoon, there were some other things she needed, and the stores closed before she could buy the materials for the decorations. Anyway, they're still tomorrow. She'll have to work hard, skip some other things she ought to do, but Jean works well under pressure. Yes, there's still tomorrow. And the hints the others gave her? Marge, advising her to assign some of the work to a committee and not try to do so much herself. Mr. Brown suggesting she make a list of the things she had to do and the time she had to do them in. Jim wanting her to get the job started weeks ahead while she still had time to get it finished. Yes, Jean had plenty of hints on how to get things done. And she had good intentions. But something always happened to keep her from making use of their advice. So Jean is polishing her nails. They'll look nice for the party tomorrow. I told you so. I told you'd be like this. Now, Jim, there's no use getting upset about it. Well, my mother's upset, and I don't blame her. Jean didn't tell me till today what I was supposed to bring for refreshment, and now Mom has to stay home from work and make cookies. 
Yeah, we almost didn't get the gym either. Did you hear about that one? Yeah. Now listen, this won't help. There's still time to make this a good party. Jean will be here in a few minutes with the decorations. Well, it? she's 15 minutes late already. Oh, what a chairman. Oh. Hi. Here, let me help you. Gosh, that doesn't look like much crepe paper. Well, it isn't exactly what I had in mind, but... What do you mean it isn't exactly what you had in mind? Now, wait a minute, Jim. I have been waiting. We've all been waiting for two months. Why don't you have enough crepe paper? And why didn't you tell the kids about the refreshments? And why did you wait until the last minute to reserve the gym? I... I've been so busy, I... Busy, my foot. You just put it off like you always do. Jim, blaming Jean isn't going to help now. I know, but I'm going to tell Jean something she should have been told a long time ago. Now listen, Jean, it's okay with me if you get your homework in at the last minute. That's your business. But when you ruin the whole class party just because you keep putting things off, none of us like it. Let me tell you something else. Well, that's Jean's story. Always putting things off. Procrastination, it's called. Can you see how procrastination affected Jean, her friends, their party? How could Jean manage her time better? Remember the hints some of the others gave her? Could you use them to good advantage? Did Jean? What do you think?